fall dresses lookbook to show you how to elevate your wardrobe with these stunning outfits. If you feel like finding the perfect fall dresses has been absolutely hopeless, I know that feels a little dramatic, but if you want to know how to dress to impress this fall, I'm going to show you my updated fall dress collection, so you'll see what styles have lasted me through the years. Plus, stay tuned to the end to get a look at the newer styles that I have added, and of course, get tons of outfit inspiration for styling each of the dresses, so that you'll not only look, but feel absolutely amazing this season. If you are new here, I am Jordan Blackwell of Little Miss JB Style, former materials engineer turned full-time content creator, sharing with you how to be expressive and chic in all areas of life, and not necessarily have to spend more money to do it so let's start off this dress lookbook with sleeveless options for the season right now you may be transitioning from summer into the fall season so sleeveless options are going to be amazing to have in your wardrobe not just because there's so many different ways that you can layer them but if you sweat like your girl and are not wanting to worry about sweat stains these are really great to have in your closet if you missed my fall sweater dresses video from last year you may have missed these gorgeous pieces from H&M I swear by H&M for good knitwear whether it is sleeveless or long sleeves they seem to create the perfect effortless pieces that fit you so amazing off the rack you are giving snatched you are giving breezy you are giving comfortable and you're just gonna feel like a million dollars without having to spend a lot of money like the couple of H&M sweater dresses that I have have been under $50 and always get compliments every single time baby and actually if you haven't already hit the subscribe button because I will have a new in H&M try on video coming up in a few weeks and the new knit dress that I found for under $30 literally left me so shook how well it fit me off the rack like I can't get enough so stay tuned for that anyway sleeveless v-neck ribbed midi dresses are a really great wardrobe essential they're not even just great for fall they're really great year round and that's what I love about these dresses you can easily make them work for any style, whether you are more minimal, whether you are more expressive and bold, these are a great base layer. These are a great place to start to build an outfit from. Whether you wanna get effortless looks, you can wear just the dress with some heels and then grab a bag, layer it with an easy jacket. Or if you wanna be a little bit more expressive, you can use these dresses as a way to add color, add pattern, and really branch out into a lot of the fall trends that you are seeing with the bright hues, with the metallic. The other thing I love about these dresses, they are just universally flattering. They work for every body type. You are gonna be able to find a dress that fits right, sits right, and looks amazing, and then style it accordingly for your personal preferences. And you know I do not use like wardrobe staples lightly. I'm definitely somebody that everybody's wardrobe is different, and I try to challenge you to think of it that way, right? Like, I know it can feel overwhelming trying to find the right pieces. You're spending a lot of time, you're spending a lot of money, however, truly, effortless style takes time and it does take practice and so having that patience having that discernment truly will make a huge difference in the long run to keep you from like wasting your money on pieces you don't like making you feel like you don't have clothes to wear and just over like the overall overall of just like what to wear and getting dressed honestly i used to feel so self-conscious about not having bigger boobs like literally i remember being young in my bed praying like lord i don't ask for much but if you could just bless me with like an extra cup size your girl will be like forever grateful. Please and thank you, amen. Obviously that did not happen. And at the time I really just felt like because I didn't have a bigger chest that my stomach felt way more noticeable than it was. I don't know about you, but I always feel like the girlies who are well endowed who have like the bigger boobs, like it feels like they can wear just about anything because most people are very just like focused on that. And when you do not have the nice cities to match, it can feel like maybe your stomach is a little bit more the central focus. I know that's how I felt. So one of the styles that I really discovered was high neck style pieces and specifically this high neck style dress from Meshki. I love that it sits nice and high in these kinds of pieces where I do want to look a little bit more proportionate, a little bit more hourglass. This helps to kind of give that illusion. This helps make my bust look a little bit fuller, look a little bit more proportional than I will say some of the lower cut style tops can. And so this is one of the other like dresses I rely on year after year after year. I've had this for a couple of years because from the high neck, the thick rib knit, this is truly comfortable and this can translate for a lot of different areas, especially if you are a little bit more comfortable wearing tighter pieces of clothing to the nine to five. This dress really does have a lot of range, even with the leg slit. I personally like a good leg slit just because, you know, I like to be functional. I want to make sure I can move and groove in my pieces. I don't want to feel like I have to take the little baby steps. So if you are somebody who wants to look a little bit fuller, a little bit more busty up top, definitely look for high neck dresses like this. This is absolutely going to help kind of distract or take away from your tummy if you feel like that's something you don't want the focus to be on, no matter what shade of dress you're wearing, because you see this is white. And usually white is an expanding color. It usually makes things look a little bit bigger. However, in this case, 
it's giving proportionate, it's giving snatch, it's serving body, oddy, oddy, even without shapewear. And that's something I personally just don't like to have to rely on is shapewear. I just feel very restricted in shapewear and it's just never been something I've been comfortable in. So I make sure when I'm looking at pieces that they sit on me how I like so I don't have to rely on that shapewear. Like the v-neck style, this is equally as flattering. This is very universal and again, you're just going to be able to wear this regardless of your style and that's why this is a really great piece as well to have in your wardrobe if you aren't wanting the v-neck style or you just want something more conservative that will get you a lot more wear. The higher neck is going to work and be able to be dressed up and dressed down regardless of your style and that's the kind of pieces that I do actually look for. I like pieces regardless if they're basic or even a little more elevated. They give blank slate because then I can take them in a lot of different directions as I want to explore maybe different trends or different styles and try new things. This is a really great way to do that is to have good basic dresses like this. Another similar style to the Meshki dress but a little bit longer is this. LNA dress. If you watch my Instagram stories, you have seen me wear this. This is like my go to dress. This is like I throw it on around the house if I want to look put together but want to be cozy because it is so cozy. Like the draping on this, you see it just skims the curves just right. And you'll notice that about a lot of my dresses. The focus is to find the right fit so that the dress skims, not hugs, not restricts. And that is a personal preference. Again, I like to be comfortable. And part of being comfortable for me is not feeling like my clothes are just too tight it's like I would much rather be comfortable than uncomfortable and look extremely snatched that's really where I'm gonna live 99% of the time that's how I feel I love this dress as well especially the longer style too as we transition into fall it just is a little bit cooler than I will say like the midi style and the other great thing about this dress too is just by itself even with some knee-high boots you're seeing like it's the statement it is stunning it is serving but then you can easily layer this up dress it down and go in so many different directions and again like I love that it's a whole fit by itself but like add a jacket add a denim jacket add a blazer you've instantly stepped this outfit and made it appropriate say for your nine to five or for an event or something like that so I really want to also challenge you to think outside of the box basic pieces don't just have to be styled basically they are a great place to start when you want to add a lot of like fun a lot of patterns or try out new things if you're finding this video even the least bit helpful do me the quickest of favors hit the like button that's a great indicator to me that this kind of content is useful to you and to keep creating these kinds of videos so i've actually talked about this in a couple of other videos but how i really started to feel confident in the clothes that I was wearing was just to wear them out of the house. Like, I don't know if you're familiar with the concept, your fantasy self, your ideal self. A lot of times we buy clothes with this like ideal lifestyle in mind. However, what you might be missing is actually implementing those pieces and wearing those pieces to be your fantasy self. You're not gonna be your fantasy self. You're not gonna reach your ideal self by just buying the things and letting them sit in your closet. You have to put them on, you have to leave the house. And that was one of the ways that I just started getting more comfortable in my style, in trying new pieces and wearing stuff that is considered bold. Like this River Island dress, it is literally the perfect example because it's a little bit sexier, right? But because I was self-conscious about not having big boobs, like I talked about earlier, I was so scared to wear this. I thought I was gonna look flat chested. I thought that someone was gonna say something about it. Like, ooh girl, no, that's not as cute as you think it is. Like, mm, who are you fooling? But when I say that one, none of that happens, like 90% of the time, none of that happens. And then two, like learning to be more comfortable in the pieces my ideal self would wear got me to that place to just naturally dress like my ideal self. And I feel like everyone should have a sexier fall dress regardless of their style because you're gonna have some occasions pop up whether you have things for work, whether you have networking events, of course it is like holiday season, which is why this green one is so perfect. And what I love specifically about this style of dress is that wrap detailing, those straps you can adjust and tie in any way that makes sense for you. So you can make this dress as tight as you want it to be, as loose as you want it to be, hide your tongue, show off and be snatched. So this gives you a lot of different options to work with. So as you're looking at sweater dresses and sexier styles, do consider ones that come with wrap detailings and things like that because that will give you a lot more options to wear the dress and adjust it based off of your comfort level that day or your confidence level that day. But don't shy away from pieces like this. But if you are somebody who is really trying to figure out how to get that confidence to wear these kinds of pieces, truly it's just putting them on and leaving the house even to do something small. Like that alone will boost your confidence tenfold. And when somebody compliments you, because baby, trust me, they will, you'll understand that you are just standing in your own way and you are about to become absolutely unstoppable. Moving into long sleeves dresses, I'm gonna show you a couple of different styles with different lengths to show you that you don't have to be afraid 
of the different lengths regardless of your body shape baby if you want to wear it you can wear it so the reason i got into being a materials engineer who worked on sustainable materials was because like most college students at the time i was just like young broke i didn't have money to just like buy new clothes every single weekend for all the different parties and all the different events i really had to learn to play in my wardrobe and maximize what i owned and learn to pick pieces that I was going to be able to style and restyle and get a lot of wear out of because I knew I didn't really like to wear the same thing. While uniforms are really, really beneficial, in fact, I have a whole video on how to create a uniform that works for you without it being boring. I also knew really early on, I like to just play around with style. So I wanted pieces that I knew I could mix and match and have a lot of fun with without them getting boring. And this Reformation dress is a great example of that. Not only is it a great cut, that long sleeve, the higher crew neck, and then the length of it not being quite a mini style, makes it safe for a lot of different occasions, makes it safe for your nine to five, it makes it safe to go to the weekends. And there's tons of different ways that you can dress this up and dress this down, which is really, really amazing. Plus, if you do not know, Reformation is actually one of the first kind of more sustainable material brands to really hit the market. And I really do love a lot of their pieces because they are wearable, but still fashion forward enough that you don't feel dated, it doesn't feel timeless. And this is a dress I've had for years. And as you're seeing, there are just tons of ways that you can dress this up. You can throw on a blazer or a long vest for a nine to five. You can go ahead and layer it with like an easy cool girl jacket, like a leather jacket. If you saw my new in Zara video, the leather jacket from there would look absolutely amazing with some knee high boots. This is just a dress that again, you're gonna be able to mix and match and dress up. So it's another one of those just like staple pieces worth having for the fall season. So something a little bit more playful, fun fact, like my dad actually was the one who always kind of encouraged me to like stand out and be different. Like we're Blackwells and Blackwells stand out. We have our own flair. And, and what makes it really funny is honestly, if you see my dad, he really just does look like a regular degular bald black man. Like I love him. But I'm not gonna say style is his forte. He's definitely not out here wearing like crazy outfits or putting together something like really different or unique, which makes me laugh all the time because he truly was a huge champion of me, like getting into my style and really having fun. So I've carried that with me into my style. And this sweater dress from H&M is a perfect example of that, right? I wanted to show you something like this because you do not need to fear texture. In fact, I love texture as a way to add fun and interest to an otherwise simple piece without it feeling overwhelming, without it feeling like it's doing too much. and as an easy way to make a statement. Because when I tell you I put this dress on with just some regular white boots or even some sneakers and everybody always stops me for this dress, always. And it's not because I've styled it crazy, right? You're noticing I'm not putting on belts, I'm not layering it with anything wild. Just the piece itself is enough that people are like, okay, wait, 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 wait. And it's super easy and wearable. While the slits make this a little less appropriate for your nine to five, this is something like for casual events, especially like more networking events. Maybe you wanna to go to the pumpkin patch. Maybe you're going to get cider and donuts. This is something I encourage you to also consider as you're looking at sweater dresses. Do not feel like, I know I showed you a lot of very simple, a lot of very basic pieces, but don't feel like you need just basic pieces because trust me, as you see some of the rest of these dresses, basic is not always the answer and you can still get a lot of wear out of non-basic looking items, especially dresses for the fall season. I am very, very particular about when it comes to adding color to my wardrobe. I've talked about this a couple of times because I get pale. Like in the winter, I get really pale and I personally just don't like to look washed out. I know that that's not like a big deal for everybody, but for me, baby, I just like to look nice and glowy. Like who doesn't wanna just look like a natural glow? So when I am choosing dresses regardless of season, I always keep that in mind. And like this rest orange dress from Ann Other Stories makes me look nice and glowy all year round. This high neck style with the long sleeves is just another very classic style in the maxi style. I just love dresses like this. Obviously you don't have to get this color, but this is another one of those dresses you can easily throw on and go. You're gonna get compliments and it's gonna be a little bit different than what everyone else is wearing. I think a lot of people do reach for like the skim style dresses and things like that. Not that there's anything wrong, but this dress truly, the thick ribbing does it every time. If that's one thing that you are picking up from this video is like the thicker rib knit you can find, like the chunky detailing you can find, all of that, all of that makes a difference. Like those little details, those little details that you might not notice at first like what you're obsessing over that's what you're obsessing over because it looks amazing and that thicker knit does help it to drape instead of really hug which is why this dress again sits so so well without having to wear any shape where it's just like i'm wearing a size medium it's laying how i need it to lay showing off the curves hiding any blotage any bloated belly that i may have that day it's a really solid dress that you can dress up for about any occasion i love this for a nine to five with just some heels or some knee high boots but then if you're feeling a little self-conscious again throw on a blazer to hide the curves if that's what you're looking to do. 
I love to wear this with like some chunky boots, some combat boots to go like on a cute like day outside. Like going to the apple orchard. Oh my goodness, so excited for Saturday donuts. Like, yeah. <laughs> this is the point in the video where you're gonna start to see me add a little bit more color and encourage you to also consider color because this is my sneaky trick to always standing out. And that is to kind of consider what everyone else is gonna be wearing and purposely pick pieces that I don't think I'm gonna see a lot of people in, right? A lot of people are gonna choose a safer choice, especially when it comes to dresses. They're gonna choose black, they might choose brown. Very rarely do a lot of people like feel comfortable enough to branch out into other colors like this for more casual occasions. I've noticed that when people go out, out like to the club on a date, that's when a lot of people get a little bit more experimental with their style. But for the most part, for a lot of casual occasions, a lot of people's first choice isn't to try and put on some color or try and add something different. So something as simple as just picking a dress in a color versus the neutral option is enough to having you stand out and leave a lasting impression. In case you did not know, I grew up in a small town in the middle of Wisconsin, literally two and a half hours from any close major city, Green Bay, Madison, Milwaukee, those were a drives. And the epitome of like fall style for me at the time really was a flannel, a cami tank top, and some wide leg jeans. But I always did want to look like the cool girlies in their cute little sweater dresses. But just at the time, coming up in the Paris Hilton era, you know, rail thin supermodel era, there really just were not sweater dresses, like cute oversized sweater dresses that were made for women with curves or girls for curves of that matter. Unlike today though because today the options are absolutely amazing and a couple of years ago about five years ago i found this perfect sweater dress from asos that finally like you know what this is the other reason i do encourage you to just try on things and really try stuff even if you think it's not for you because when i tell you putting on this sweater dress really healed something in that inner girl that just really wanted to look like the girls I saw. This was so healing in so many different ways and this still is one of my most complimented, not the most, keep watching for the most complimented, but one of my most complimented sweater dresses, my most searched sweater dresses, my most clicked on sweater dresses. This one from ASOS is that girl. It's so comfortable. At the time I bought this in a size eight, it's actually a little bit big for me now, but I just love how comfortable this is. And again, it's just one of those classic styles. I will say the turtleneck might not be for everybody. For me, I love a good turtleneck. I feel like it gives that's jawline, right? Like it really highlights my jawline. But if the turtleneck style isn't your go-to, do consider a crew neck, but this chunky knit, and it's the chunkiness of the knit that I know everyone just obsesses over, right? Like the fit's really great, don't get me wrong, it drapes, it's nice and loose, it's really giving like super cozy north woods, we're about to be in a cabin, it's a really great dress. But I know that what a lot of people are drawn to about this dress truly is that thick knit. And again, I cannot stress this enough as you're considering not just the dresses that I have in my wardrobe, but as you're looking at new dresses, pay attention to those details. Look for those details. Those are just simple ways that you're gonna be able to stand out and really just give that je ne sais quoi that you really love in other people's outfits. A newer number to my wardrobe, like I said, everyone should have a good sexy sweater dress. This brown one from ASOS. What I love about this dress, because the green one, I felt like it had a lot of wear, but I also felt a little bit limited as to like the occasions I could wear it to. So I was looking for a sexier dress that felt like it was a little bit more versatile, that really just didn't feel as limiting. I don't know how else to say that because while I do get a lot of wear out of the River Island one, this definitely is a moment. And what I really love about this dress is the strap details because obviously, as I've mentioned a couple times, your girl's not the most well endowed. It's okay, we've accepted this. So I do tend to avoid just strictly off the shoulder pieces because I also don't like to fuss with my clothes. Another tip, babes, if you're having to tuck and fuss and do a lot, put it back, return it, or get rid of it because babe, that's not cute. Like that's not gonna give like, ooh, okay, she looks put together. Ooh, okay, she looks, because you wanna look comfortable. So if you're doing this a lot and you're, you're that's, that's not giving confidence, that's not giving comfortable, don't do that. So that's why I love this dress because that strap makes sure that I do not have to worry about the dress going too far down. It is a great length that this works for a lot of, I would say more like of the winter parties that I plan to go to. You have the networking events where you wanna be warm, but just a little bit different. Again, I'm not seeing this style of dress very, very often for where I live. The other thing too, if you do want to be more risque, you can just tuck those straps in and really just have a full off the shoulder moment. So this is a really good dress that I feel like you'll be able to wear a lot because the other fun thing is that the plunge detail isn't too low, that if you wanted to get away with this, maybe if you're a nine to five or dress it up, you can throw on a blazer, a crop blazer would look absolutely stunning with this and truly just turn heads. Another style that I have slowly been leaning into is more fitted style dresses. Again, it was just something I didn't think that 
I could do was like for my body, especially like the mini style. However, having some patience, finally finding a couple of pieces. I did want to share both of these dresses, one from River Island and one from ASOS because what's really great about these dresses, like I love a good open back moment now, now that I'm a little more comfortable with the fact that like my girls ain't that big, they are what they are. I love a good open back moment and the reason I love a good open back moment is because you can easily hide the open back moment as well so you can add a jacket over these add a blazer over these a trench over these so you can wear these and make them more appropriate for just like more casual wear if you're worried about the dresses seeming a little bit too short longer jackets really look cool and of course with like some knee-high boots definitely giving like edgy fashion forward cool girl such a stunning outfit like the girlies always look good the key here truly is to be patient and find dresses with one enough stretch that's really important i find that the more stretch a dress has the more likely it's not gonna like run away on you because we all have been there where it's like hey hey who are you trying to who are you trying to show the goods to because babe this is not the time or place so having dresses with some good stretch is really really important but then the other thing too is pay attention to the fit not the size the fit the fit the fit not the size when we let go of like that vanity metric right of like ooh, i wear a size this ooh, i wear a size that that's truly when your style starts to open up and give you a lot more options because you are learning to pick clothes for how they fit on your body not for what a tag says because a tag is irrelevant babe we can cut that out and no one needs to know what size it is ever like you don't have to tell anybody like unless you're in my position where you're sharing your clothes with everybody and they want to know what size is what no one needs to know what size you are so start buying these pieces specifically with the fit in mind, making sure that they fit, making sure that you're really trying them out, testing them out, because once you find a couple like this, baby, baby, when I say putting on this style of dress with the texture, with the pattern, with the coat, with the boots, who's that girl? Mm. La, 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 la. Who's that girl? It's me. It's JB. It's JB. And that is exactly how you're going to feel when you find those pieces, really. Like, when you find the pieces, pair them together, and it just comes together exactly how you wear the chef's kiss, baby. Now, I know you're really, really excited. We are getting into the new to my wardrobe latest editions, literally bought within like the last couple of weeks here. First up, this green dress from NAKD. Because I've been on the hunt for another longer maxi dress to really make a statement. I love my rust one so much that I really just wanted something else to pop. And this is so soft. It is so comfortable. I'm wearing a size medium. It, I mean, it gives. And that is, again, why I stress finding a couple of colors you don't need a lot of colors but like one or two colors that are just standout colors to have in your fall dress collection because this will always get compliments literally i was not out in this dress more than like five minutes to get some good pictures of it oh my god your dress oh my god your babes babes the dress was dressing the body was bodying and it's so soft like like i really even see myself wearing this dress around the house because i just love not only looking luxurious right looking luxurious is really important but really pay attention this is the materials engineer me to the fabric, to the content, that little tag that's on your pieces. Pay attention to those fabrics that you do feel comfortable in, you do feel confident in. Those are the fabrics you should continue to try and shop for and continue to add to your wardrobe because not only having the clothes look good, but really feel good, like soft, like you're not really scratching, you're not really like aware of your clothes per se. It's almost like second skin. Trust me, that makes a huge difference too in terms of just like how you're gonna carry yourself. It's like, I'm not worried about this. I feel amazing in this. Even if it is something simple like a regular dress, that little bit of just like, mm, I feel good in this. Like it just feels good in this makes a huge difference. So one thing about me, I'm not an early adopter of trends, not because I don't believe in trends or like I'm afraid of trends. Honestly, I'm very picky. I'm picky. I would much rather get to a trend late because I have a piece I love that I know I'm gonna wear for years than just buying like, ooh, this is the viral dress, this is the trendy dress. I'm not gonna do that. Like the Zara dress was really great, don't get me wrong. I don't like strapless dresses like that. So when I saw this number on ASOS, right? Because one, everyone's already gonna have the Zara dress. Like, and one thing you're probably picking up is I'm really not interested in looking like everyone else, okay? I'm really not. That doesn't mean I can't buy pieces that everyone else has. However, I like to find pieces that work for me and this is just that. The stretch on this is crazy. It's insane. I'm in a medium. It is so perfect because it's stiff and it fits in the way that you want it to fit the back out. Like the back out, I'm telling you, a back out moment is just where I'm living right now and this is so chic. And the leg slit, like put two of my favorite things together and it's like, yes. And again, what I love about this dress is because it is comfortable, because it's got that stretch, because it's not like super tight, rigid denim, it feels good on my skin. I feel comfortable wearing this 
however. And you can throw on some sneakers and look good. You can dress this up with some knee-high boots and look good. You do not have to do the most with this dress, and those are the pieces I like to gravitate towards. I don't wanna have to feel like I need a layer, a layer, a layer, a layer, a layer to look like a cool girl. I do like that I can throw on a piece. It in itself can be enough of a statement, and I can then go from there how I wanna dress up and dress it down. So this one, absolutely was so excited because I could finally be like, yes, I'm a denim dress girly. I made it just like the denim skirt. Actually, if you haven't seen that video, I do have a maxi denim skirt. Like, I'm always just out a denim maxi skirt because it took me a long time to find a denim maxi skirt that I just didn't hate on me, right? So this is the same, but with this denim dress from ASOS, literally cannot say enough good things. Last but not least, like speaking of more elevated basics, I squealed with such joy when I got my hands on this dress because I also am the girl like, not only am I picky, I'm patient. So this dress from ASOS, okay, I'm gonna give you a moment to just take it in, right? But this was sold out three times before I finally got my hands on it. And that is not the first time this has happened. I am that patient. Instead of like, oh my gosh, it's sold out. Let me find something similar. I will patiently wait because 99% of the time, a lot of these clothing companies do have a strange like, buy right now, buy instantaneously. You're never gonna get it again. And that truly just, is not the case if you slow down and pay attention. Not only did I get this dress on like the third restock, I actually got it when they had 25% off the website. So not only did I get the dress, I also paid less for it. And that's the other reason that I am not only picky but patient and urge you to be the same. Like you do not have to run out right away and buy everything, everything this moment. Take your time. Just like when you're building a home, just like when you're searching for a job, just like when you're dating, take your time. There is no rush. Like. You're probably like me, you have a lot of clothes, you have plenty of clothes, you probably do have things you can wear. You don't need anything else. We're at the point where I don't need new clothes, but I do want to look better. And so part of wanting to look better, and one congratulations for that thought because a lot of people don't even like recognize that's what they want. You just want to look better. That doesn't mean you need new clothes. That doesn't mean you need to buy new things right now. That doesn't mean that one piece is gonna transform your closet today. It's a process. And that is something that I want to leave you with, is that while these are great places to start, these are great pieces to have in your wardrobe, be patient, take your time, do not rush out and just buy anything from anyone from anywhere. Really having a good wardrobe, having a great style, having confidence in who you are, is understanding that one, this is who I am, and being okay with that. And then two, saying this is what I want, and I will be patient enough to get what I want. I don't need to rush it. I don't need to get something similar in the meantime. I don't need to do this in the meantime. I want this and I'm going to be patient and get this. If you found this video helpful, you got some tips, got some tricks, hit that like button, subscribe. That is a free indicator to me that these are videos that are worth making. You are getting what you want out of these videos. I'm giving you value. It's also helpful for me as a creator to know so I can make sure that I am giving you what you are looking for because that really is my goal. Like, yes, I want you to look chic. Yes, I want you to look put together. Yes, I want you to feel confident. But in order to do that, I have to make sure that this content is valuable for you and I'm giving it to you in a way that you feel is best. So thank you so much for watching all the way through. And if you did find this video, I actually think you'll find my video on fall sweater dresses from last year and how to style them really helpful as well. A good place to get more information and see some of these other dresses styled in a couple of other ways as well. So thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.